If you've got six mile diameter asteroid with a closing velocity of 20 miles per second, what size crater is that gonna create? 150 miles roughly in diameter. Holy so they shit. speculated and said, somewhere there must be a 150 mile crater if, if we're right. All the skeptics would, were saying, well, until you can show us the crater, we're not buying into this because that's too, too drastically different than our old models of gradual extinction, right? At the same time, Petroleum Mexico is drilling in the northern Yucatan Peninsula. And they had drilled down about through a half a kilometer of limestone sediment. And at the bottom of that drill core, they hit something hard. They brought up samples of it. And it was this green, vitrified, really dense glass-like material. Their first assumption was it was volcanic. Well, word of this eventually got to some American scientists that were trying to figure out what happened at the KT boundary. They went down there, they got more samples, and they started doing subsurface surveys, and they could see that there was a giant circular structure buried under a half a mile of limestone. And this green vitrified stuff was the, the rock that had melted in the superheated temperatures that were created by this impact. Then they, they've gone on. I mean, they, for example, have found the, the remnants of gigantic tsunamis in Louisiana and Texas that were washed north. It was a long process, but this, this occurred in like the early 90s. Three teams separately proposed that the extinction of the, the dinosaurs at the KT boundary was triggered by an impact. 